is hi everybody and thanks for joining us tonight for eyewitness news here at six i'm mark city and hi everyone i'm Erin connelly in recent days we have been breathing in some of the worst air in the country and while it's slightly better than yesterday it is still unhealthy right now and the state has air quality stations tracking uh, pollution rather and we do have ways to keep you and your pets safe we have team coverage for you tonight channel 3 chief meteorologist mark dixon and hector molina are both standing by but we do want to begin with channel 3's dylan Farron. he is live in east hartford tonight dylan Hey, Mark, Aaron, good evening. Luckily, we're trending in the right direction today. The air quality index here in East Hartford at 153. An hour ago, it was at 157. Two hours ago, at 160. So things looking a lot better today than yesterday. But 153, still in that unhealthy range. And while we're there, there are ways to keep you and your pets safe. Pushing this button just might help you breathe better. Keep the AC on. Keep the air circulating. Try to stay indoors as much as possible. Lisa Rothman pushed it this morning. It circulates the air in our cars, hopefully keeping the poor air out. Helped tremendously. At home, changing your air filter is crucial, according to technicians, along with keeping your windows shut. But Kathy knows it's hard to completely avoid the unhealthy air. I'm sure it is. How could it not? How could it not get in the car? How could it not get in your house? You open the door to get your mail and your newspaper. You, you're, you know, protect yourself the best you can. At the dog park, these good boys still need to walk, including Johnny. They do take him here for about an hour a day um, and hope for the best. Rhonda knows the air quality is poor, but wants Johnny to get a little exercise still. I am a little bit concerned because he has been sick recently and I'm not sure how it's going to affect him, um, so I need to pay more attention to that. Danielle DeMauro does know how it's going to affect him. She's a certified vet technician at the Animal Hospital of Rocky Hill. What you do look for is coughing, red eyes, you know, irritation in the face, keep windows and doors closed, fresh water when, you know, inside, you know, make sure that's available. Now, this is the air quality station in East Hartford. There's 14 across the state tracking the air quality, tracking the pollution in our air. Deep gets all that data, then they send it to the EPA, which then gets it to us at home. We're live in East Hartford tonight. I'm Dylan Fear in Channel 3 Eyewitness News.